am so broke, but I need fun, go pop. I am so broke, but I need fun, go pop. Oh, but that's what, that's what credit's for. And they say that the Spider-Man fun goes, just came to GameStop today. I hold on to the wings of my wallet, watch as money flies away. Yes, today I had to go to GameStop because they got in the Spider-Man 2 video game Funko Pops. Hey, it says Eevee Blast from the past. Now, there are four from the regular set. I don't have one of them. It's not out yet. It's the regular Miles Morales. Um, but I do have a Miles Morales pop. I have a GameStop exclusive one to take a look at. As well, I think there's a Symbiote Sue Spider-Man, but it's a Funko.com exclusive, I think? Yeah, either way, I couldn't get it from GameStop. But I've got the four, so let's check them out. Yeah, and as you can see there, this Miles Morales is a GameStop exclusive. And I think this suit is really cool. They've got the sneakers going on. Uh, they've got the hair popping out of the mask at the top. I open my pops from the bottom because then if I want to put them back in the box, the top isn't all possibly mangled looking or anything. Oh cool, and I thought the pants were going to be just plain black pants, but no, they've got like spider swirls around the kneecaps there. And on this Funko, it's like kind of like a buggy eyed, like bubbly texture on the mask. So on the eyes, it's uh, bubbly and on the mask it's bubbly too uh, so the texture is really neat. Alright from one Spider-Man to another Spider-Man let's take a look at the Peter Parker. I want to be careful with this one because he's got the claws popping out of the back. So this Spider-Man Advanced Suit 2.0 pop um, is very cool looking you just gotta be careful because the claws are kind of flimsy so you don't want to touch or bend those too much there um, if you can help it. I've always thought this guy has a really cool suit. I like how the developers take on Spider-Man and the kind of suits they give and the suits you can unlock. The claws are very good guy looking. You know, it's got the light blue and the silver. Uh, doesn't look as menacing as Doc Ock or anything. It looks like justice. And you've got the sleek suit going on there. Very cool. Now let's take a closer look at the Venom Pop. The, the, the glossy finish they put on the body. And the head, like everywhere. This thing's got a glossy, shiny body and I love it. As well, it kind of like shows off the drool on the jaws there. The transparent drool that goes along well with the glossy body. And the tendrils are popping out the back too. Uh, symbiote power. And there's two pegs on the stand uh, and two peg holes in the feet. So you can get it to stand exactly as intended. And the last pop that we got is Craven. So let's take a look. So yeah, this one doesn't come with a stand. Um, it's kind of standard. You know, compared to the other pops, uh, they've each kind of got more of a dynamic pose going on, or they've got, you know, the claws coming out of the back, tendrils coming out of the back, and they're kind of menacing, and they got some poses going on there. But Craven is just kind of standing. He's got his dagger. He's just kind of regular in comparison, not as dynamic. Now, for the Spider Man 2 pops, I don't know if they made chases or different editions or anything like that, but this Craven pop would be very cool flocked. Uh, with his fur attire uh, getting the flock treatment it would be very very cool to see. I would have liked to see the knife to be a little bit more metallic than matte gray but uh, the matte gray matches uh, the duller tones that they were uh, using on this pop I guess a little bit better. Yeah Craven's just okay probably my least favorite of the line but yeah guys that's a look at the Spider-Man 2 Funko Pops that just came out. What kind of Funko Pops do you collect? I love getting Marvel Pops, specifically Spider-Man. Uh, I've got like all the 90s cartoon animated ones as well. Um, but yeah, what kind of Pops do you collect? Let us know in the comments.